up, bro. I like the same. It doesn't matter. You got the white man on your neck who destroys your people, who killed millions of Native Americans. That is Stockholm Syndrome. That's what that is, bro. You wearing that on your neck says you hate your people. You hate your heritage. You hate where you came from. That's what you say when you wear that on your neck. Yes, give me that. Deuteronomy 33, 29. Deuteronomy 33, 29. Happy art thou, O Israel. So guess what, the Israel, you are an Israelite according to the Bible. You're not a Native American Indian. You know what the word Indian means? Slave. Who put that name on you? White people. And you glorifying the white man right now. You glorifying the white man right now. And the word Indian means slave. They put that name on you. Read it again. Happy art thou, O Israel, who is like unto thee. So the Bible says, who's going to like the Israelites? When it comes to sports, who runs sports? Who runs sports? Who runs sports? Do white people run sports? White people run sports? So who, 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 what, the, what, what race is LeBron James? No, the best athletes. Who's the best athletes in sports? It's so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. The Bible says, there's no people like unto these people. Keep going. Who is like unto thee, O people saved by the Lord? And it says, guess what? The Israelites is the only people that's going to be saved by the Lord. Not the white man, not the Chinese man, not that man is dangling from your neck. It says the Israelites is the only ones going to be saved by the Lord. Read. The shield of thy help, and who is the sword of thy excellence, and thy enemy shall be found liars. The Bible says your enemies is going to be found liars. Who's your enemy? Who is your enemy? Who is the enemy of the Native American Indians? Humanity? How is humanity your enemy? You don't have no enemies? So who came to this land and took this land from your people then? If you don't have no enemies? It's not about enemies. Who is Christopher Columbus? Who and what does the word conquistador mean? Conquerors. People that came and conquered and killed millions of your people. That is your enemy. And guess what they're doing? They rule on this side of the land. And guess what? Your people's at the bottom. You stuck in the hood. You stuck in the ghetto while they running the whole world. They took all your natural resources. And you talking about you don't have no enemies. You got your enemy on your neck. You love the white man more than you love your own people. It's different than taking it off your neck. Prove it. Prove it. Prove it. Give me first Samuel 2 and 3. So does God hate people? Does God hate people? Nope. God don't hate nobody? Let's give me Romans 9 and 13. So you, this brother said God does not hate nobody. Hey, do y'all agree with that? Does God hate? You say no? Let's see does God hate. Let's see is what y'all saying in the Bible. Because guess what? The same people that came and did this, my fault, bro. The same people that did this to the so-called Native Americans, guess what? They taught them Catholicism. Catholicism is nowhere in the Bible, bro. Christianity is nowhere in the Bible, bro. Let's read that. Romans 9 and 13. Let's see what God says. Romans chapter 9, verse 13. As it is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. Read it again. As it is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. The Bible says Jacob I love, but Esau I hated. I, got, I, I, I thought God does not hate. The Bible just said he hates Esau. He hates a race of people on this earth. There's a race of people that went from country to country to country, killing and murdering millions on top of millions of people. Come on. The Bible just says he hates a race of people. What you said is nowhere in the Bible, bro. Yeah, and you got that race on your neck. You got that race on your neck. Who's Esau? Let's see. I'm, I want you to see here right quick. Give me Genesis 25 and 25. Let's see who is Esau and what Esau did in the last days. Genesis chapter 25. Got it? Genesis chapter 25, verse 25. And the first came out red all over, like in a hairy garment. So let's read up the verse above. Verse 24. And when her days to be delivered were fulfilled, behold, 
There were twins in her womb. So guess what? She had twins in her womb. So this is the creation. This is where races came from in the beginning. If you read Genesis, the word Genesis means the beginning. So this is where races came from. Read it again. And when her days to be delivered were fulfilled, behold, there were twins in her womb. So she had twins in her womb. Let's see what was happening inside the woman's womb. Read. And the first came out red all over like in hairy garment. So the first child came out, came out red and hairy. What race of people was red and hairy? What race of people was red and hairy? Who is known for being rednecks? What race of people? White people. This is talking, this is the beginning of the white race right here. Esau is the progenitor of the white race. All white people descend from Esau. Let's see the second child, read. And they called his name Esau. And after that came his brother out. Then after that, Jacob came out, his brother. Keep going. And his head took hold on Esau's heel. So guess what? Why doesn't it tell you Jacob's color? Why doesn't it, it mentions Esau's color, right? Ray and Harry. But why doesn't it mention Jacob's color? I want you to think about it. Why didn't it mention Jacob's color? Because guess what? Say it again. Color skin. He was a color skin. He was a black man. He was black. Give me Genesis 2 and 7. Before Esau, in the beginning, there was no white people walking the earth. It was nothing but black people at that time in the beginning. Genesis 2 and 7, read. Genesis chapter 2, verse 7. And the Lord God for man of the dust of the ground. So it said the first man was created from the dust of the ground. What color is the dust of the ground? It's brown. The first people that was created was brown-skinned people. And guess what? The deeper you dig in the earth, guess what? What club was that at? <laughs> that was admit that uh, a lot of people don't even realize they I've called her, she hasn't responded. I've called her more than a few times. But the Zulu nation, I'm like, what the hell is this? I know nobody know what I'm talking about. You'll leave me on the island by myself. I don't know what the hell Bishop's talking about. That's what y'all do. Then after class, yeah, I knew what you were talking about. I just don't want to be caught out there. The hell is this? Get on my damn nerves. So read that again, 31. The darker it gets, right? The first man was created a black man, a brown man. Then Esau came after. You get what I'm saying? So guess what? Why does the Lord hate Esau? Why does the Lord hate? Let's see what Esau has done. Give me Obadiah 1. Obadiah. First give me Psalms 83 because this is what you got to understand, bro. God has enemies. Do you understand that? God hates. We just proved that to you that God hates a race of people, right? So let's see who's God's enemies. Read that, Psalms 83. Psalms chapter 83, verse 1. Keep not thou silence, O God. Hold not thy peace. And so guess what? He said, don't keep... So this is what's your mind. What's your name again, bro? Tony. Do you think God should repay these people for what they did to your people? Because guess what? They just didn't oppress Native Americans. They oppressed so-called African Americans. They brought them on the transatlantic slave trade and stacked them up as sardines on boats. By the time them boats in America, it was already millions of black people already dead because of the um, the living conditions inside the slave ships. Then when the slaves came to America, guess what? They was putting them to death. There's a road in Virginia called Blackhead. Blackhead Road. You know why it's called Blackhead Road? Because guess what? They was killing after, you heard of Nat Turner? Have you heard of Nat Turner? Nat Turner led a slave revolt. And after that slave revolt, they went and they killed thousands of black people, chopped off their heads and left their heads on sticks. And as you're riding down the road, all you're seeing is nothing but heads of black people that was decapitated. You get what I'm saying? So read that again. Keep not thou silence, O God, hold not thy peace. So this is what I want for my people. I don't want God to keep silence. I want God to bring vengeance for what these people did to my people, what these people did to your people. That should be your mindset. Keep going. And be not still, oh God. And don't be still. Bring your judgment. Because they brought judgment on us. Bring your judgment on them. Keep going. 
For lo, thine enemies make a tumult. It said, guess what? God's enemies made a tumult. You know what a tumult is? An angry gathering. Guess what? During the time of Andrew Jackson, they made a tumult, and guess what they said? We're going to cut these Native Americans off from being a nation. We're going to take their language from them. Guess what? They start setting up boarding schools, start putting Native Americans inside them boarding schools to learn a so-called white education. So guess what? You started being assimilated. You start being brown white people. They made you cut off your hair. They took away your religion. They took away your God. That's why now you worshiping that white God on your neck. Because the so-called white man did this. When they brought, when they brought, came to America, 1492, you get what I'm saying? Keep going. For lo, thine enemies make a tumult, and they that hate thee have lifted up the head. It said, and they that hate thee, they lifted up their head to God. They knew God was a black man. They knew God looked like this. But guess what they did? Hold that. Give me First Maccabees 348. This is what they did to your book, bro. This Bible is the book of the so-called Israelites. The blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. But guess what? This white man, they conquered us, and guess what they did? They took our historical records, and they changed it. They start paying white images of Jesus Christ. Before 1492, before the, the Renaissance period, there was no white image of Christ. Everybody at that time knew Christ was a black man. Read that right quick. First Maccabees 3:48, and laid open the book of the law. So this is what your enemies did. This is what the enemies of God did. They laid open the book of the law. They took our historical records and what they do? Wherein the heathen had sought to paint the likeness of their images. They took our book and they paint their image. Then they conquered you, conquered me, and guess what? They said, if you don't worship this white image, guess what's going to happen? You're going to get put to death. That's what happened. They forced Catholicism on your people. They came to Africa, took my people, they forced Christianity on us. And they gave us a white image, bro. You got to understand, why are we the only people worshiping another race of people? Chinese people worship Buddha. What, what does Buddha look like? He looks like them, right? You get what I'm saying? But guess what? Our people, we looking at a white man as God, bro. Because guess what? Slavery. 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 Blacks and Hispanics and Native Americans, they put us in slavery and they took away our history. They took away our heritage. That's why, where's your people at today? Where's your people at today? They're not around. You don't see a lot of Native Americans around today, bro. But guess what? What's it called? They living on... Um, Reservation. They living on reserva reservations. We just went to a reservation in Nebraska. Guess what? Almost everybody on that reservation was drunk out their mind. Guess what? On the way to Nebraska, on the way to that reservation, we seeing a so-called white man. He got the fatness of the earth. Green grass. Big house. But when we get on the reservation, guess what? It's the hood. Trash everywhere. Trailer parks. You get what I'm saying? So, bro. This is what's happening. You got to realize who you are. Keep going on that. Psalms 83 and 3. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people and consulted against thy hidden ones. And guess what? It said this white man, he consulted against the hidden ones. Who's the hidden ones? We are the hidden ones because we don't know who we are. We call on ourselves African-American. African-American is two different white men. Leo Sipius Africanus. That's who Africa was named after, a Roman general, a white man. In America, Vespucci, another white man. And black people, we calling ourselves that, why? Because of slavery. They took away our tongue, our language. They took away our history. The same thing with your people too, bro. Read what you got. They have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation. They said, let us cut them off from being a nation, bro. This is what the so-called white man has done. Give me Habakkuk right quick. Habakkuk chapter 3 and verse 5. Hey, come here, bro. Come here. Hey, what's your name? Come here, bro. Come here. Come here. Come here. Give me Habakkuk. You got it? Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 5. Verse 4. Behold, his soul is lifted up. Yea, also because he transgressed by one. So now, listen. It's talking about the so-called white man. It said, be, this white man, he transgressed with wine. You know what that's talking about? It's talking about doctrines, philosophy. They gave us this image right here of this false Jesus. Keep going. 
By what? He is a proud man. He said this white man is a proud man. Who's going around saying they Native Americans today? <laughs> white people. Five dollar Indians. He said this white man is a proud man. Keep going. Neither keep it that home. He said this white man does not keep it that home. 1492. This white man left his so-called home. That really wasn't his home. He stole that home too. But guess what? He came to America. Whose home did he took? He took your home. He said, this white man don't stay at home. He transgressed by wine. Read it again. Neither keep it that home. Who enlarged it, his desire as hell. He said, this white man, he enlarged his desire as hell. That's right. He wants the whole world. This white man is trying to conquer the whole world. Bring it out. This white man is so proud. What is he trying to do? Space travel. He went to the moon. He's trying to go above the most high. You get what I'm saying? Bring it Keep up. going. It is as death. It cannot be satisfied. He said this white man is not satisfied. Guess what? This white man came to the Americas, Bring it took out. your people, took nope. them in slavery. Was they satisfied? Nope. Then they went to Africa, took so-called black people from Africa, brought them into slavery, and they colonized 90% of the continent of Africa. Come Was on. they satisfied? Jesus. No. Recent history, what they do? What did Bush do? He declared war on Afghanistan, right? It said this white man is not satisfied. Bush, he made up, he said they got weapons of mass destruction just so he could go in that country and take their natural resources, oil. take their oil. You get what I'm saying? This white man is not satisfied, bro. But guess what? You got to take that off your neck, bro. You got to take, guess what? If you believe in Christ, when Christ comes back, if you have that on your neck, guess what's going to happen? You're going to get put to death, bro. You have to hey, repent. Bro. You got to repent. Take that off your neck. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road. Purple and gold from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.